When it comes to longevity research, Q3 was absolutely wild. In just three months, scientists made more progress toward reversing aging than in the last three decades combined. Between July and September 2025, AI redesigned the genes that control cellular youth. And that's only one part of the story. Harvard proved anti-aging drugs can improve memory. Across the world, research centers are racing to push the limits of human longevity. For the first time, aging research isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. In this episode, we'll explore how these discoveries happened, why they're transforming the race toward longevity escape velocity, and what they could mean for your lifetime. Stay till the end, because the breakthroughs you're about to see might have just pushed humanity one step closer to ending aging itself. For decades, biologists tested one variable at a time. Now AI runs thousands of virtual experiments per second, predicting which genes, enzymes, and signals will make aging go in reverse. Inside the world's first fully automated wet labs, robotic arms carry out what the AI designs. No coffee breaks, no fatigue, no bias. These closed-loop systems have turned biology into a self-learning process. Every experiment feeds the next. Every result becomes data. The scientist doesn't just wear a lab coat anymore. Sometimes, it's written in code. Three months ago, an AI shocked the world by helping scientists make old cells young again. That experiment, led by Retro Biosciences and OpenAI's research team, wasn't the end of the story. It was just the beginning. Since then, the same system has scaled up, from single cells to full biological models. Their upgraded model, GPT-4B Micro, redesigned two of the original Yamanaka factors, SOX2 and KLF4, creating retro SOX and retro KLF. The result? A 50-fold increase in efficiency and cells that restored youthful function in days, not weeks. 85% of treated cells reactivated stem cell markers while repairing DNA damage. It's not science fiction anymore. It's the beginning of precision cellular rejuvenation. At Harvard, researchers tested senolytic drugs on older adults with mild memory decline. The treatment, a mix of desatinib and quercetin, cleared toxic senescent cells from the body. After just 12 weeks, the results shocked everyone no serious side effects, and a measurable improvement in cognition. People literally started thinking clearer after clearing old cells. It's the first real-world proof that targeting aging itself can restore function. Meanwhile, AI systems are no longer just analyzing lab data. They're inventing drugs from scratch. In silico medicine, powered entirely by AI-driven biology, designed a new antifibrotic compound in just 46 days, that same drug entered human trials within a year, something that once took a decade. The same approach is now being tested for senolytics, molecules that target and remove aging cells. Instead of testing thousands of compounds manually, AI predicts which ones will work before a single drop is mixed in the lab. It's like having a digital scientist running millions of parallel experiments faster, cheaper, and often more accurate than humans alone. This isn't replacing researchers it's multiplying them. You can't slow what you can't measure. That's why AI models trained on millions of medical records can now predict your biological age with over 96% accuracy. They don't just tell you how old you are, they show how fast you're aging. Each week of data updates your aging velocity. If it rises, you adjust diet, sleep, or treatment and watch your biological clock slow down in real time. The era of guessing is ending. The era of tracking has begun. At Helmholtz Munich, scientists found a new gene that controls how fast our telomeres, the protective ends of DNA, wear down. It's called 10-1, and when it fails, cells stop dividing and start dying. Understanding how to stabilize that gene could help preserve stem cells for decades longer. But while new genes are being discovered, Old drugs are being re-evaluated, and not all of them work as expected. Rapamycin, once a miracle molecule, shows conflicting results in humans. CRISPR can edit genes that drive aging, but a single off-target mutation can turn therapy into threat. And what about partial reprogramming? Still dancing on the line between regeneration and cancer, every leap forward 
reveals a shadow side, progress and peril growing together. Because for the first time, all the pieces are moving at once. AI designs the blueprints, CRISPR edits the code, Senalytics clear the damage, and biomarker systems measure the results. Together, they form a closed loop, a self-learning cycle of rejuvenation. The timeline for longevity escape velocity no longer feels like science fiction. If this acceleration continues, the 2030s could be remembered as the decade humanity learned how to pause its own biological clock. Would you trust an AI to decide how long you live? AI now processes more biological data in a single day than most human labs can in a year. It doesn't sleep, it doesn't guess, it just learns and accelerates. And with every new cycle, it helps uncover discoveries in longevity faster than ever before. If you want to stay updated on the latest breakthroughs, subscribe. No hype, just easy and factual insight. And if you haven't yet, explore our previous videos, each one uncovering another piece of the longevity puzzle.